do you th would it be a good idea to turn the lights down so you can get a better um, shot of the screen? Or yeah, but then I get a horrible shot, shot of, of you. you. Yeah. Hey, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so welcome to the Silicon Valley JavaFX user group. Keith is, is very sorry he couldn't be here, but he's um, incapacitated. He's um, oozing spurious amounts of blood. Okay. Um, so tonight we have Phil Race, who's going to talk about the JavaFX printing APIs. Um, before that, a um, big thanks to all of our sponsors. So Oracle supplies the venue and all the food. Um, Linode does a lot of hosting for us. Um, JFrog pays some of our meetup costs. Um, and then we also host the videos on some different video sites um, and get books from um, A Press, Manning, and a couple other companies. Although since Keith's not here, you guys get no handouts. Apologies in advance. See, normally we have lots of good handouts, right? Yes. So we'll 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 have to live without it since Keith couldn't make it. Um, okay. So without further ado, I'll turn it over to Phil to talk about the JavaFX Print API. <coughs> Hey, good evening, folks. Um, OK, so this is um, a, um, you're getting to experience the early access version of my Java 1 talk. Um, so please um, go easy on me if there are a few rough edges. It's not feature complete yet. Um, so Jennifer isn't here tonight. But so a bit about myself, maybe. I'm in that sort of, uh, I've been working on Java platform graphics and related stuff for quite a while, and printing a long time ago, and then in the JDK and so forth. And um, although I've been, I haven't really been doing that much printing for the last few years. You know, we now needed a new printing API in the um, FX platform, and so um, I've tried to learn from some of the things that we've done in the past. So I'm not sure why my um, Mouse focus. Um, that's sorry. That's Oracle standard disclaimer stuff they make us put in there for Java One. So this is the sort of rough agenda. What I'll be going through. There's a little bit of the history, which kind of touches on what I just was talking about, and um, you know, sort of what I was trying to achieve with this API. Um, a few examples. I actually um, have just for fun. I actually brought a printer. So if anyone wants to actually try to print something for real, we can try it. Um, some details about the implementation and just very briefly, you know, uh, touch on some of the things that we know that really need to be done. So JDK um, printing has a quite long history, just, well, the JDK does it as itself, of course. But it's one of those things that went through a number of iterations. Um, and you know, back in JDK 1.0, which everyone remembers came, well, many of us remember came out in like an alpha in 1995 and then you know, G8 um, in 96. It, it had no printing support whatsoever. I mean, that, wasn't, had, that hadn't been the focus, right? It, was, it ran on a device, right? We keep coming back to Java on devices and so forth. Um, and then it was you know, turned into something for the web. So you know, printing hadn't been something they'd put into the platform, but of course, you, know, you need to be able to print um, for you know, many valid applications. So there was some basic printing API added, um, you know, just for the release that came on a year later. And then JDK 1.2, uh, which was the big Java 2 release, what do you want to call it, um, added um, a completely different API than had been in, added in JDK 1.1, you know, just like no overlap whatsoever. And that was designed to print Java 2D, not just print. Um, um, AWT components, which is basically the f and AWT basic graphics, gra graphics, which is the focus of JDK 1.1. Uh, but you know, you had to kind of you know be there with your mouse, and you couldn't do anything if you were a server or anything like that. There was no way, you know, so J Java. They were trying to get Java into server side applications, and there was no way you could do that. You know, you ha you could not literally, you literally couldn't print except by pressing OK on a on a print dialog. So you know, it just didn't work for a server application. So there was some support added to the original API in 1.3, and um, 
but then JDK, but then Java 2D, which was what could print a lot of the things that people wanted to print, still didn't have that. And that finally got added in 1.4 where there were things like headless AWT, so you could run on a Linux or Unix server without actually bringing up a Google, even if there was no X display for those people who remember X11. I'm sure many people still use it on Linux. Um, and there was a whole set of APIs called Java X Print, which went through the JCP and so forth, which was designed also to be used with interoperate with potentially genie enabled devices and so forth. So there was lots of lots of iterations on the JDK side of printing. And 1.4 is basically where it stopped. But it, you know, the real issue I'm trying to get to here is that we just tried, you know, different there were different APIs incompatible. I mean Java X print is really a third API. So there are three APIs and each of them, you know, added something or did something a little bit different and it took a long time. You know, to try in one four to unify these things and make everything um, and be able to print everything in the platform and be able to support all the different use cases. So, oh, I keep losing focus. Um, so that's basically my my last point. Um, it just took a lot of tries, and you know, so there were some things that went wrong in trying to, you know, as a result of that. But you know, the main thing that I think that you know we got right is that you know and and. Most modern platforms essentially do this as well, is that you know, the drawing model for printing is you know, you're drawing to the printer just like you draw to the screen. It's not like you had to go off and um, say, well, you know, now I'm going to print. Oh, I, I actually need to start generating PostScript or something and send it to the printer. You know, uh, you know, and completely essentially redo your, your um your, your, the way the application renders. It's exactly the same rendering model. You just draw to a printer graphics device instead of a screen graphics device. So that's one thing that I think we got right. Um, so FX printing, um, I mean, I, you know, again, it was one of these things that the, the, the mistake in a sense made here was perhaps that, you know, we didn't do it earlier. Um, but Java FX 1.0 was sort of like JDK 1.0, very web focused. Um, it was the scripting language, JavaFX script, for the people who got into FX at that time. And, and printing wasn't actually in the plan. I don't mean to say that any, no, people were saying, oh, this is unimportant, we never need to do it. But there was no, you know, it wasn't in a project plan. Um, and FX2 dropped script and um, was done in a, ma a major hurry, really. It was quite impressive. A lot of things were sort of converted to Java and we had to, get a release out quite quickly. <clears throat> so a lot of people were now you know, much more talking, talking about printing much more. There was no, um, no time to do it, just not a chance. Um, JavaFX 8, um, as I think you all know, is basically the first one that sort of tied into um, you know, a major JDK release and well, we started doing it in 7, but um, uh, it's, it's you know, a, a, a release in which you know, a lot of new APIs have been added in the Java language-based FX. And you know, finally, we're trying to add, um, well, we are adding um, some printing support. So that's kind of the history. And I you know, haven't been there through all of that history, but you know, I've been there through quite a lot of it. So it's too late to, to get it in the first release, but I'm trying, and I, feedback is obviously very important and welcome here, is to you know, only have to provide one API. Now, this doesn't mean to say the API is complete or that it wouldn't evolve or that there's not some things that are missing, but you know, the, the worst thing that, you know, that can happen is we say, well, we just need a literally completely different API. API. I mean, in Java, JDK 1.1, we had a Java ORT print job and a Java 1.2 had a Java ORT print printer job, and then there was a uh, Java X print print job in um, JDK 1.4, and just completely different. And, you know, it's just too much. So let's hope that we can do that. And then, it, you know, as we evolve to new users and platforms, that that's, you know, flexible enough to be able to, to, um, to survive. It's strange. <coughs> okay, so what are the, the big goals here? Um, well, I think... Um, you know, the end user, right, one of the things that you, it's sort of a, um, you know, not everyone else will necessarily agree, but there's, there's the, you know, 
if you're building a platform like Java or JavaFX, right, do you, are you aiming for a completely a platform feel or you want something that you know, behaves pretty much the same across platforms? Um, JDK you know, pretty much tried to give you both options and let you pick and not, this didn't always get everything perfect, but very few things are. Um, but the idea is in FX that to, to the greatest extent possible, we want it to feel normal for the platform. Um, so the user will, pretty much as an end user, what you would see is the usual print and page setup dialogues on the menus and so forth, however you want to do it as an application developer. But you know, if you want to go and say, hey, I want to develop a custom print dialog because I just want these three options and I don't want the user futzing with anything else because I need a very controlled setup, you, know, you could write a little UI control yourself to do that because we provide you, um, you know, most of the information you need. Um, I'll talk. I'll come on to what that means in a bit. I think this is weird. I keep every time I leave my mouse for about a minute, it just loses focus on the window. Strange. <coughs> okay, so then there's the developer experience. Well, you want to make it fairly easy to add printing um, to your application. Uh, you know, doesn't necessarily mean it's a slam dunk. There are some things that are that are you know complex. Um, make the API fairly straightforward, um, so nothing superfluous, by which I mean um, some things like Java X print kind of went up and added a lot of stuff that I never really got implemented, and it was like the whole of the IPP API, and you know, the, most of the platforms we were running on just didn't even support it, so there was all this API that really was, you know, pretty much wasted. So it's not to say we can't add new API, but I haven't you know, and, and also JDK 1.2, I remember lessons that we had for where we had implemented API because we thought, oh, and then we can patch it in, um, in um, you know, a later release. But, you know, it, in that later release, you could add, add API anyway. And instead, you just had functionality which just did nothing, which was broken. So I'm hoping I'm not adding any functionality which does nothing. And again, the same rendering mode is on the screen. So in FX, this basically means the scene graph. 